saw Roger Federer playing tennis at Stanford recently. That's where his agent, Tony Godsick's son, Nico, plays. But Roger is also giving love to Tony's daughter, Isabella, who plays lacrosse at Dartmouth. Federer will be the commencement speaker there this June. And here's what he had to say about it. Hello, Dartmouth College, class of 2024. I am so excited and honored to be your commencement speaker this year. And of course, I hope I see you on the big green in June. See you then. Looking good in, the, in that varsity sweatshirt, Andy. What do you expect to hear from Roger Federer when he gives the commencement speech at Dartmouth? Oh, who cares what he has to say, Steve? God, yeah, I'm so over this. No, I'm joking. Um, I, you know what? You know what? You know what's cool about this is I. It, it's it, it's honestly Roger showing up at Nico's practice. Uh, uh, Tony Godsick and Mary Jo Fernandez's son, and then doing the commencement speech at Dartmouth, where Isabella is. This is essentially the result of a tennis relationship, right? That starts as a business and then morphs into a friendship, then morphs into a partnership, and there's like an afterlife. And so this is a tip of the cap to Tony and Mary Jo and the the relationship they've established with Roger. Uh, what price do you put on history? Um, I, I think it's just a, an incredibly classy thing of Roger to do. It's like annoyingly on brand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, giving a commencement speech is such an honor, Monica. And, and to get Roger, I just can't wait to hear what he has to say. Neither can I. He is extremely well-spoken. I mean, every time I see him talk, I'm just, like, glued to the screen, like, okay, what do you have to tell me? Um, and I, so many people are going to walk away so inspired from that just because of what he's accomplished and how humble he stayed through it all. I mean, everybody loves Roger and what he stands for, but it's more so... He just makes you feel so happy. He does. He does. Have you given a commencement address, Andy? No, but I can tell you there were many days where Roger didn't make me feel happy. So I call. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't quite well, agree I with Monica on the other on that side. One. So he made me feel happy watching his matches. I'm deeply very sorry that you had to deal with the yeah. other Roger, but. Yeah, I, I have not given him. any. I have not given any commencement speeches, Steve. I don't think I will be asked to give any commencement speeches, but uh, I will definitely tune in for this one at Dartmouth. Cool, cool, cool story. S somebody get Andy to give the speech. He's got a lot he of wisdom to tell. He can give a speech tell. here. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you guys. Just, just on TC Live, like diatribe for 10 minutes. Monologue. Uh, uh. <laughs>